One of my faithful viewers was asking me recently about how to mod BG3 and I thought it would make a perfect idea for a video since I had a bit of trouble getting mods to work in the first place. And honestly, I'd love to get into covering some of the better mods eventually because currently they're the only way to get access to other D&D classes that aren't implemented yet. You can also get some fancy clothes if you're sick of the regular duds available. Also, I'll preface by saying I'm sure there are lots of other valid ways to get mods running with this game, but this is the way I do it and it works just fine without any problems. So with that said, let's get started. First off, you're going to need an application called Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. I'll put a link for it down in the description. I've seen a lot of mod installation instructions that mention just changing something in a certain file, but that would not work for me. I ran into a lot of weird issues and using the app works more reliably and I don't have to go and do any legwork. Get the latest version of the Mod Manager and once it's done downloading, extract it to a folder by its own name so you can keep track of it all. I put the folder on my desktop so that I can find it easily. You can open the Mod Manager now and it will add some files to the folder, but there won't be any mods so it'll just be a blank screen. You might have to direct it to your install location. Unfortunately, I can't see it because it's already set up. I'm pretty sure I remember that it defaults to the Steam location though. If not, you can always go to the preferences here and direct it to the right folder. Okay, and now that you have the mod manager, I'm sure you've already got some mods in mind, but if you're not sure what's available, just take a look over at Nexus which I'll put a link down below for you too. I'm sure many of you are likely already using Nexus for Dragon Age mods, but if not, you soon will be as there are a ton of mods here for Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Today, I'm specifically looking for a Paladin class mod. So I'm going to type in Paladin and see if I can find it. If you're not sure what you're looking for, you can always just browse. This one sounds good and it's updated for patch five. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. I know some people like to use the Nexus mod manager, but I've always done my own thing with mods. So I'm always going for the manual download. Once you've got your mod downloaded, you're going to extract that one too. Now for the hard work, if you can call it that. You need to take the .pack file and place it into a specific directory. It's not the Steam install location, but a different directory that should be under Documents, Larian Studios, Baldur's Gate 3, and then Mods. As you can see, I already have two existing mods in this folder, one to play as the Bard class and one for a clothing mod. And here you can see the mods listed and the BG3 mod manager. They won't show up in this list unless they are in the proper directory. So I'm going to make sure the BG3 mod manager is shut down and then drag the Paladin mod into the proper folder. Then I'm going to reopen the mod manager and now the file will be listed. Now this part is really simple. All you have to do is left click and drag the file over to the left side. The 0, 1, 2 are basically just the load order. In this case, I don't think it really matters which one loads first, but I put the classes first just in case because I want them to have a higher priority. Now you need to go to file and click save order. This will make sure the mods actually load. Once you see the little green bar at the bottom, you are good to go and can shut down the mod manager and open up Baldur's Gate 3. All mods are different and you may have to access them in different ways. Make sure to read the instruction page to see how exactly to find the mod in game, especially if it's a clothing one like the one I use. But for classes specifically, all you have to do is start a new game and it will be there as a selection option. Also make sure you click accept when the pop-up message shows up as you create a new game. And here are my two modded classes, the Bard, and the Paladin, both working as intended. So mods definitely help to liven up the game. And since I first started BG3, I've learned and played a lot more interesting classes that aren't currently in the game, like Wildfire Druid, for instance, which isn't in the game right now, but is available as a mod. I hope you guys found this easy to follow along with and got your mods up and running. Thanks again to my Patreons for their continued support. And if any of you would like to support my channel as well, the link will flash on the screen and it will also be down below in the info section. Patreon is a great place to get my attention if I don't happen to see your comments here on one of my videos. There's also access to special features, like for instance, the outtakes I made while trying to record this video. You'd be amazed how hard it is to say certain things. <laughs> Let me know if there's any mods in particular you guys are interested in. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.